Join us for a grid work mission this July 4th, 2024 at 11 a.m. CDT time as we are going to focus on the grids of the United States. This is going to be an early morning session so you can still enjoy the barbecue and the fireworks in the evening if you wish. But this mission objective this month is to tackle some of the deepest wounds inflicted by colonization and the ongoing victim victimizer programs that have affected the United States for centuries. And this work is crucial at this time as many of us along with our ancestors have entered integrated significant trauma on these lands. So why is this mission important? Because healing historical wounds and addressing the trauma past down through generations from the time of colonization is living in the time of now. So we need to clear these negative programs and remove this victim victimizer dynamic that still persists in the collective consciousness today. We are gonna celebrate true freedoms, shifting the focus of Independence Day from the excess and the superficial celebrations to a deeper and more meaningful reclamation of freedom and progress. We want to amplify our voices, emphasizing the importance of maintaining and expanding the freedoms we still have, including our freedoms of speech and the right to bear arms. The mission plan is to assist the major descending cities and start with the cities that have been the most affected by negative energies and working towards the Capitol at Washington, D.C. This will be a capital awakening like never before, initiating a massive group awakening in Washington, D.C., symbolically represented by the spirit of the freedom dove. This mission is particularly meaningful as it resonates deeply with the significance of 4th of July, a day often overshadowed by excessive partying and alcohol consumption, which is not what the true spirit of America is about. By engaging in this grid work, we aim to reclaim the essence of Independence Day, celebrating the small freedoms we still have and expanding consciousness on the land of opportunity. So this is a call to action you guys let's come together to clear this corruption and initiate positive change whether you're passionate about healing historical wounds or ensuring a brighter future your participation in this grid work mission is vital so if this is your first grid worker mission that's okay Come and join us for this transformative session and contribute to a greater collective healing. Together we can create a profound impact and awaken the true spirit of freedom and progress in the United States. Cosmic blessings. I love you so much. You can find me at indigoangel222.com or you can join us at patreon.com forward slash indigoangel. You guys don't know what like an example of a reversal gate is a reversal stargate is and I know most of you who've been watching and following my journey know I've been talking about this but um if you're new to my channel and you don't know Vatican Rome is a 5D reversal stargate Washington DC 5D reversal stargate CERN I think is a 12th dimensional reversal Metatronic AI gate um the Kaaba and Mecca Saudi Arabia 5D reversal stargate Stonehenge is actually an AI reversal stargate Okay, it is an undercover Nephilim hub that um, extends into the Force Breeder programs. Um, a lot of the stones and Stonehenge have actually been replaced and they're artificial. Um, and there's a lot more. In Ishmore, Ireland, that's a 666 wormhole. Bermuda tri- Triangle 666 wormhole. Statue of Liberty is a wormhole hollywood california harvesting gate site silicon valley man-made stargate so i could keep going the list is infinitely long if you just go to the terms on indigoangel222.com i have a list of them there already but so we're going to focus on washington dc we're going to actually chart our map together today and i thought this would be fun to do because i just enjoy charting it's actually really fun and um entertaining I think on some level (laughs) but it's also good to prepare your maps for your scouts for your preparation work and so um, Washington DC is actually between Virginia and Maryland it's our nation's capital so let me just I'll actually um, 
We'll just locate it. Okay, I'm just gonna put a marker there. Now you can see I've actually already started um, scouting some of the Masonic templating that's running here. And so I did uh, already put this one in here. This one is upside down pentagram Masonic templating. Just save it. Okay, Washington, D.C. And now sometimes I like to go in and actually change my marker. I don't know if that's the one that I want to use. So, um, Sometimes I just do, it's maybe it's under standard. I'll just do these little push pins because I like to have color options. So for Washington, D.C., we'll just go with the red W maybe. <laughs> that one works good. Now, Washington, D.C., this is one of the only cities in the entire world to have its own sovereignty from any particular state. Now, this is just like the Vatican, right? It seems to be a particular quality of a reversal templating it's kind of like a policy of them or a contract of them of exclusion that applies to its signature so they're excluded from things that the rest of the world has to deal with such as particular laws or legalities um they're excluded from probably even taxes in some way like it was basically built on a foundation to evade other things and make things more simple, right? For them, for their functioning and not be like everything else and to benefit from that and to be exclusive, to be um, something that is very difficult to attain, essentially. It's also a central hub where contracts, deals, trades, policies, both galactic and earthly apply covenants, business deals, monuments, buildings, historical landmarks, CIA headquarters is here. Um, there's a lot of monarchy connections and seals. There's Roman connections and seals, Saturnian ring and black cube templating, highly Masonic. And also in this reversal energy, there's also millions and millions of tourists that visit in and out every year in Washington, D.C.'s that also does seem to be a quality of most reversal stargates is that they are locations that draw in a massive amount of tourists, and it's because they are soul harvest and feed zones, essentially. That's what it is. And so I realized that reversal stargates are the closest actually anyone can really get to the earth energetic vibration of a black hole when you go to a reversal stargate you're actually getting close to a black hole that's the closest you're basically going to get to one um it's because these gate systems now where is the gate system you might ask right because it's like you we're looking at the entire city of washington dc here um if i had to guess it's probably somewhere down here um, in this area where we have more green, um, where we have this Masonic upside down pentagram actually pointing down to a circular area, um, also pointing down to its natural resources where it can tap off of that gate system and also use the natural resources. And um, so I think it's important uh thing to know is that cities with you know all of this major wealth all of this major power that runs through it um you're really we're really going to be able to decode a lot of symbolism in the grid templating here i probably won't be able to get through all of this in one video i'm already you know in the video quite a ways and I've barely gotten to any of it. So this is something that I think will continually be stacked and built as more reveals itself. The symbolism is honestly what makes them so interesting is the dynamic capitalization of that vortexual energy within the geometric architecture. So one thing about Washington, D.C. is that there is an incredible amount of, like I said, the Masonic templating, but that then tunes into the Black Magic templating or the Black Magic Etheric grid templating that's there. And if you want to know why it's basically because the United States was founded by a secret society, 
Okay, United States, I think it's well known that George Washington was a very high ranking Freemason. Um, and so were his next successors, like the next 13, 14 successors. They were all also Freemasons. And so they say that the actual structure, the actual geosocietal architecture was supervised in its building processes by Washington himself. Washington laid the first cornerstone for the Capitol building. And the Fraternal Order of Freemasonry is a secret society that's very well known for secret and hidden occultism. And so this is now um, indoctrinated down through major universities, you know, the fraternity, the Freemason fraternity. This is where it comes from. Okay. Um, I think we kind of covered a little bit of it with Harvard University. All the universities basically um, are what are keeping living order or the decree in which our judicial and legal systems and medical systems all bind to. And so it's everything's leading back really through the universal, let's say university templating goes back to Washington, D.C. So you can see this giant inverted pentagram out of the city streets. It points to the leader of the Snakes of America, the Oval Office. So um, this is, as you tune in here, this is actually the White House here. And everything of this upside down pentacle is pointing to the leader, right? It's pointing to office. The pentagram runs through DuPont Circle to Mount Vernon Square to Pennsylvania Avenue to Logan Circle to the White House. Now, Pennsylvania Avenue actually opens up to a larger ley line network system that we're going to chart. And so um, now this upside down pentagram belongs to many things as well, besides just what we see here. Um, there's also something called the Order of the Eastern Star. This is, they're saying that this is who honors this upside down pentagram here. This was the largest fraternal order to which master masons and their female relatives may belong to. And the emblem of the order is a five pointed star with a white ray of the star pointing downwards towards the manger. So again, all of this pointing downwards to the Oval Office. And I'm also thinking that the inverted pentagram also could be a form of so uh, Solomonic magic. So King of Solomon or necromancy. So this is a very, also very popular thing in Freemasonry that I think a lot of the occultic greater and lesser keys of Solomon actually came into Freemasonry. Like they work with the magic spells of this. And so again, this is Metatronic. This is the pentagram symbolizing the fallen angel Lucifer, who is envisioned as the keeper of the Holy Grail and free masonry. So they see Lucifer as the keeper. And again, then this also stems down from the pharaonic bloodlines and the dark occult Egyptian magic as well. And, um, but they will, uh, the Freemasons will keep actually like a cup inside the pentagram and, um, meaning like the Holy Grail, but we know from, you know, if you've seen the Da Vinci Code um, or even just looked deeper into the Holy Blood, the Holy Grail, we know that that's actually truly the bloodline of Jesus and Mary Magdalene. That's actually what it is. But in addition to this layout here that you see, the entire city is really just inundated with arcane symbols and mythological designs that adorn both the inside and the outside of the government buildings. So that's like even just doing one grid worker mission there, like we're not going to be able to get to everything that's here. I mean, because it's inside and out. So it really is going to take, I mean, to really decode a, a network. And that's why things have to be done in phases. It takes a long time, but um, the entire city feels like it is really just constantly reflecting their agenda, their secret Freemasonic agenda. So the entire city is running encrypted with those secret geometric codes. And I can only imagine and anticipate that it feels very convoluted and very jarring to the consciousness field when you're in parameter of those arcane symbols in the buildings and outside of the buildings, that that alone would be bringing in lower living forms, lower domain spirit that are coming through. 
imposter spirits, predatorial spirits, um, a lot of uh, things that are kind of um, between worlds as well. I think that there's also a lot of Babylon timeline templating that connects in here as well. Babylonians use the pentagram symbol to uh, symbolize Venus, which is dedicated to Ishtar. Okay, so I think that's also running here as well. Now, another thing I want to actually show you guys, I'm going to bring a picture up on the screen here. So this was something that was spotted by Fibonacci from the Grid Worker course. And I just want to say thank you so much for bringing this up because it was absolutely excellent, an excellent spotting of, of this. I just want you to look at this picture really quick here. So well, what's being seen here is that this entire White House area is like a hive. Okay, so the White House is like a queen bee. Some were seeing that she is actually turned upside down and she is in some form of enslavement to the system, that something is being like hijacked, something is being um, imprisoned against the will, maybe like a royal bloodline. It's, it also um, can tie into a hive net as well. So if we have a hive here at Washington, D.C., then there might also be a hive netting that expands across the grid. Now, I've been seeing all kinds of stuff in the grid. I've been seeing snakes, a lot of snakes. Like, this is a brotherhood, a, a, a cultic brotherhood of snake, like what runs here. It is especially anything that's connected to wasps and bees is often also affiliated to serpent. There's a lot of connection with that. Um, but this net I feel is also having to do with 5G. It's having to do with the telecom satellites that it's working as a base organism and source of AI and AI machinery. Again, creating a hive or a buzz around of hive or a collective consciousness towards AI controlled group thinking okay so they can control group thinking here this is why this place going in as a grid worker <laughs> again that purification process you guys i could not stress that enough because this is there's going to be a lot coming through the sine waves or the minefields that are wanting to control the group thinking wanting to control the human brains to the internet wanting to connect into a brain net or a hive net and this is a real functioning system that they have. This is actually running through um, grid computation. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's another layer of um, um, computerized grid, grid computation surveillance services and tracking services. So this is real deep. This is facial recognition. I mean, this is... I mean, we've known all of this was coming, but this is kind of like at the apex of where it is located. And so they're going to have artificial intelligence systems. That's why I got hit with that coming into this. I got disoriented. You guys, really disoriented. Um, it means that um, there's just a lot of human consciousness enslavement. There's probably a human consciousness enslavement egregore that's within completely the field of Washington, D.C., I mean, we could probably go around just unplugging billions and millions of people from that egregore, just spiritually, energetically, as part of the, the mission, as a part of the recon. And um, essentially, that, um, you know, it's, it's all in the purposes of controlling the timelines. Um, so a lot of targeted individuals, the first waves of humans um, being secretly experimented on. So a lot of people are being secretly experimented on. A lot of this is coming also through their SRA meth methods as well. So their satanic ritual abuse, which we see all of that playing out in Hollywood. Again, like Madonna, the things that Madonna's doing, the, the outfit that Doja Cat wore with the blood red um, sparkling red diamonds. Okay, those are all like imagery of child pedophilia um, that's coming through. And um, so that's also headed here as intelligent agencies to through like the mind control programming. Um, so yeah, a lot's just being subjugated here. Like this is so full of infiltration on so many levels. But yeah, let's look down now at this wasp here. So I know you guys just saw the picture. Now I want to just actually kind of chart it out myself just to 
see if we can really kind of paint the picture of I'm going to try to get it more center. Okay, so we have kind of like the abdomen of the wasp. Now let's go in and change that because I want this to be a different color. Maybe we'll do yellow. And I don't know, but yellow just seems because of bees, wasps. Um, and then we have kind of like the thorax. Okay, we have to change color every time here. Um, and then we have the head of the wasp. Now I'm just charting over it to make it stand out, essentially. Um, but then what we also have here is we have the antenna, antenna of the uh, wasps, okay? And then down below, we actually even have a stinger. We have a stinger, this is what was pointed out to me, that is going into Constitution Avenue. Now, that is really something to symbolically break down. I'll tell you what, and I feel like that's coming um, what does it mean to have a stinger in the Constitution? Um, I think that's something I've really also been evaluating within my own morals and value system. What's been coming up lately to me is if the current Constitution that we have is even what's needed, if it is to be continually protected, if it's not something that will eventually be replaced by a new age um, belief structure at some point. I've been seeing that a lot in the timelines. I've been seeing like a lot of new age earther people coming in and fighting for new constitutional rights. It's a hornet's nest in the way that it's protected. Um, it's a hornet's nest in that if you poke the bee's nest, if you poke the hive, okay, you will be attacked like like a wasp storm right like um a full-on um high frenzy that will come after you um so i think that's it's kind of like an indicator of um what fields of consciousness are connected to the constitution which is really a grimy kind of a nasty vibe and then what i also think is running here is i also think that and i'll just do my line tool here that we have within the boundaries and the perimeters of the hive, we have an opening or gateway through the grounds into the organic honeycomb templating. I did a big update on the original core holographic structures of Tiamat. Okay, the Tiamat grid, the hexagonal honeycomb matrix 5D. Now this is an organic matrix, holographic, earth matrix that's the original core templating to the tiamat energy to tiamat's living consciousness um again links will be down in the description i highly recommend you go and watch this video that i did you might even have to fast forward because my videos are long guys you know how i do but once you get to the good part where i'm explaining and defining that honeycomb matrix you'll be like oh my gosh this makes sense you'll be like this could be um, a place where this is a direct access point here in the ground into that honeycomb grid templating. And um, if that's the case, that would definitely confirm that this is a 5D reversal stargate, right? Because reversal stargates are all about hijacking. They're all about siphoning the energy. They're all about tapping off the resource of the energy and funneling into something that is anti-life architecture, funneling it into something that doesn't serve the highest good of all people, the planet, basically, life itself. And so um, I think what they've done is they've ran some form of a hive net over the top of it. And it's some form of, again, siphoning, um, but also refraction as well. Now, what I'm also seeing here as well, when I really had time to like sit with this a little bit more, is that 
what I think the mission is going into this. So like doing an actual Washington DC boots on the ground grid worker location mission would be to actually activate the queen's chamber. That's what we would be doing. We'd be going in and activating the essence of the queen bee, activating the essence of um, igniting the power of the hive queen. Because if what is being seen here is that she truly is flipped upside down on her back and being fed off of, then we would want to re-empower that queen energy um, to restore nature, to restore organisms to restore honey to restore what's organic I keep getting the words honey I've been getting the words honey a lot um I looked it up and it said that honey is eternal consciousness or it, it carries um a lifespan of at least 3,000 years like it doesn't ever like bacterialize it doesn't ever decay and it can live for 3,000 years if you jar it and so um, honey actually is like an eternal life liquid. And so you can see why they would be after honey. If, if this ground, this grid emission produces the energetic form of honey, okay, you can see why there's a swarm, why there's a buzz in Washington, D.C., I think that this is a direct portal link, though, into the honeycomb hexagonal matrix, um, which ultimately would also be an original heart core templating, okay, of the original mother planetary brain complex. That means Washington, D.C., right here in Maryland, this is a heart center. This is a heart chakra. Um how I can kind of even further confirm that on some level is that I think that there are three main ley lines that are running through the United States. So I'm just going to chart a couple of things really quick here so I can put these ley lines in. Um, I'm going to look for the Devil's Tower in Wyoming. Okay, let's go ahead and mark that. Let's change that marker to something. Hmm. Diamond. Aqua. I think that's really the codes it brings in. It brings in some aqua diamond codes. Um, okay, so the first ley line actually runs through Devil's Tower. So now that we have that marker point, that one is at 44 degrees parallel. And you can't even make that up, 44 degrees, right? Um, we got our line tools. So let's go ahead and map that. We'll just kind of, now this isn't going to be perfect, you guys. This is like, again, pre-charting of this energy just to kind of get a rough idea where things are. So this is the, the, the first main ley line that is running through. The second one is going through Washington, D.C. So this is at the 38 degree parallel. So if we get our line tool here, we can chart this one up. And let's see, this one's about at the 38. And if you want to know where I'm getting this information from, it's Ley Lines of the U.K. and U.S.A. by David R. Cohen with Anne C. Silk how ley lines were used by the church, royalty, city planners, and the Freemasons. So this is a really good book, guys. If you can see it in the picture here, I'll put it down in the description. Um, I'm just re referencing this one for locations of ley lines and the degree systems, but everything is listed here in this book. There's a picture of the ley line here, page um, 54, okay? And what it's saying is, is that the next one is... By down by the Bermuda. That's actually the Bermuda. Now I want to see something really quick here. Bermuda triangle. So just Bermuda. Let's see where that's at. Back it out of it real quick. Okay, it's not that one. It's definitely not that one. I got that one wrong. So the, the, the next one sits like on Monroe, Louisiana. I'm really not far from the 33rd um, 
parallel myself. Um, so let me put that marker in and back out and see where we are at. Yes, because I'm down here. So yeah, this is really where the 33rd parallel runs. Now, this is one of the most active ley lines in the world. This is where most stargates ride on across the earth. And we're just focusing on the United States right now. So we're not going to like push these lines out across the world or anything. So you can see that, but you can see how my lines are pretty even here. Okay. So what kind of confirms that heart essence or heart chakra energy to me is that, that Washington DC is sitting on really the center ley line of the United States. Um, even though it is far East, the energy still runs and transmits through those ley lines. I think another thing that also leads me into the heart consciousness energy Washington DC might be carrying again the organic part of it. I think that there is a lot around how the entire world really watches American politics kind of like a soap opera like a drama like everyone all over the world knows what's going on in American politics like they follow our presidential elections and they're invested in it as if they, 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 you know, I mean, it's, it's on the stage, it's on the world stage and not only our politics, but the movies, the entertainment, idolizing of celebrities. Okay. All around the world. And I've even had a lot of friends who have told me that the reason that they've learned English in their life from that are from other countries is because they watched American movies. They, they followed American politics. And so um, I think that that also is really at the heart core of the world and why it tugs so much on the rest of the world. American uh, military basically is involved in militarization all over the world, wars, everything. So everything really always comes back to this point at the heart center, right? And so I think that's why, um, again, having that uh, that heart chakra energy here. Another thing that I wanted to look at within Washington, D.C. is also, I think it's really important to um, find the Washington Monument. Washington Monument. Let's see. It's right there within proximity to the hive, right? Let's go ahead and change this one. We're going to change it to... This one will do a square because that's probably rigid energies. <laughs> we know it's rigid energies. Um, let's see. We're going to change this Monroe one too as well. We'll do this one as... We'll do it as a red M for Monroe. And then Bermuda Triangle, we'll just remove it from the board. Okay, so this one, this is where the Washington uh, Monument is. Now, when you guys look at this, what do you see? Because there's something there to me that is obviously there. Okay, so what I see running here is a Vesica Pisces. There's a Vesica Pisces running at the Washington Monument. This is two circles that are intersecting in the same radius. And the Freemasons use the Vesica Pisces a lot in rituals, so I can see why they would have designed it this way. Um, this is definitely a ritualized center area that if we're doing grid work or mission, this will definitely be a location um, to work with. But this is blatantly, blatantly sexual ritualization of the grid here. This is to dominate. This is to insert into the female energy holding power because the Vesica Pisces are geometric templating to the female vaginal body parts. So what they're placing in that <laughs> is ball shaft. It is the phallus. It is the penis, right? So it's going into the vagina. They're sexualizing that. The Washington Monument is a tall penis nesting comfortably in a giant symbol vagina, basically. I mean, now that you have the bird's eye view of that, you can really clearly see it. And this is what planetary branding is, you guys. 
a lot of times we don't realize it. Freemasons, right? They're smart builders. This is what they do. They build. They know how to build according to energetic code, which means underneath this is what appears to be cement. They probably have laid iron rods that come together and form that energy into the ground okay so this is like a form of branding the planet opening up vortex and portals and trans transmit um transmitting what you want to ritualize through that center of it so these masons knew exactly what they were creating guys i think they were attempting to convey um a sexual union of gods okay because now at the united snakes capitol building um, there's also Masonic square and compass. So let's just kind of zoom out of that really quick for a second. Let's find where the Capitol building is. And this is real crazy what I'm about to show you guys. Let's do, let's change this to a C for capital. All right. Uh, yes. Yeah, so I want you guys to just look at this for just a second. Tell me if there's anything you see here. Tell me what you see. Tell me if you see it. If you know free Masonic symbols. Okay. There's actually a square and a compass there um, that is supposed to have a reflecting pool that connects into a ley line that's running down Pennsylvania Avenue to the Devil's Tower. Oh my gosh. I just feel like all this indigenous energy coming through my heart. And it's like, yes, yes, this is right. Um, there is secret hidden underground tunnels here that extend out around this. This is... Um, an area where a lot's really going on. So if you can't see it yet, I'll just go ahead and draw it in. Uh, my line tool is going to be blue, but I'll change the color. But basically this is, this is where it is. It's like here and it goes here. And I'll just change this. So I'm just going to actually like attempt to draw this but it's supposed to come up like this and my drawing might not be that good actually uh but <laughs> I'm trying okay uh but yeah it's kind of like this and that would be like the masonic symbol um let me turn this one a different color so maybe you can see it better Okay, so this is the compass here. And what this is, and what they've said this is, is a reflecting pool. That that is reflecting um, energies back towards them. Like, it's like a trap. Like, it's, it's to continue to... Um, feed off of their resources, basically. But essentially what that connects into is is a major ley line that's actually running down from the Devil's Tower. So I'm actually going to pull out a little bit here. We're going to locate the Devil's Tower. I think I already plugged it in. I did. Okay, so... It would be really difficult to draw that line but because uh, it's so far out. But basically, there's a ley line that's coming down over here. And it is going into that reflecting pool. So they're drawing off of that energy there, which my, my line was way off. But it would be coming down. Okay. And it would be coming into that um, reflecting pool. So basically that's 
the ley lines coming down and it runs into the reflecting pool at the Capitol. So this is what I have found to be, I think from just taking a first deep dive of Washington, DC, everything that's really starting to come up to me. Now I know that that ley line reflects into the reflecting pool and bounces off and goes back back into the United States so that they're trying to channel and plug and funnel energies from the Devil's Tower. Um, it also runs through Bear Butte, George Washington statue, and then back through the Washington Monument and Lincoln Memorial. And so they're like, they're like, it's a way of funneling and keeping that energy um, all together there. So I think what we'll have to do is spend more time deep diving on this, you know how it goes. Uh, but yeah, there is so much here in Washington, D.C. And um, I think there's a lot of hidden technology that we could decode. Um, and there's a lot on a spiritual level that I think could be worked on. Um, again, this is so deep. There's so many levels. There's so many layers to this. It ties into so many things worldwide that it really is something that will take time to manifest itself as divine timing allows, right? Because everything has to be done in divine timing when things are ready to come forward, when things are ready to. So yeah, guys, we'll, we'll keep working on this. Thanks for watching this Cosmic Grid update today.